Thank you very much. Good afternoon. The government would like to confirm that there is a special investigation going on in the Bank of Uganda by the Criminal Investigation Department of the Uganda Police in liaison with the State House and Corruption Unit headed by Lieutenant Colonel Edith Nakarina. This investigation arises out of a written complaint by the Governor Bank of Uganda, Professor Tumusimbe Mutewile, on the 3rd of May to State House. Governor Mutewile wrote complaining that he chartered, Bank of Uganda chartered a cargo plane to bring printed material of Bank of Uganda from Paris to Entebbe. The cargo plane landed on 27th at 7 a.m. And according to Bank of Uganda, the cargo plane was supposed to contain only 20 pallets of packed printed material. When Bank of Uganda officials went to receive their items, in accordance with the protocols of Bank of Uganda, only two officers are supposed to enter the cargo plane. On inspection, they retrieved their 20 pallets, but discovered that there were five other pallets remaining in the cargo plane, which was supposed to be a chartered plane, and therefore should have carried only Bank of Uganda items. These pallets were packed in similar fashion like the Bank of Uganda items, which raised suspicion. They did not raise a complaint there because they had received their 20 pallets. When they returned, they filed a formal complaint to the bank administration and it reached the, bank, the governor, Bank of Uganda, upon which he wrote asking for special investigation because it was beyond the Bank of Uganda. It touched the airline, it touched aviation, it touched customs. The president was fully briefed on Saturday night and he directed a special investigation, which is being conducted and headed by Grace Akulo, the director of CID. Meetings have been held with the governor, Bank of Uganda and directors especially the Director of cancer, uh, uh, Currency, Procurement, and Legal. Subsequent to that, investigations are underway since that Saturday night. As we speak, there are six to eight Bank of Uganda officials from those directorates helping police with investigations. We shall communicate the outcome depending on which direction the investigations go. In addition, the investigations have gone to Entebbe Airport, Aviation Security, Airport Police, and Customs. The investigations have so far established, at least from the documents, that indeed the plane landed on 27th with the 27 pilots, 20 of which belong to Bank of Uganda, five that belonged to other 13 different individuals. Among the individuals include UN, USAID, and three ordinary local Uganda business people. Among them, Mr. Charles Simbire, Amptech Investment Limited, and Mandela Millers. From the airway bill, and also which is at customs, they have been checked and they are not illegal or dangerous material. The items of UN and USAID and Minister of Health are things related to electronics, lighting system, energy system, solar system and equipment for testing blood 
and chemicals which support the testing of blood. The investigation will establish whether the airway bin tally with the actual items in the pallet. Secondly, from the airway bill and the, the customs document, tax assessments have been provided, have been made for those five pilots. It remains to be found out, investigations will tell us, if the tax assessments are accurate and also if they have been paid. For now, our investigations are focusing on government entities and officials who should have done due diligence to ask them why if this was a chartered plane, why did it carry extra items? Perhaps it is after that that investigations may spread to these other individuals. But for now the focus is on the government entities and government officials because they are responsible for conducting and carrying out due diligence. However, I have seen a letter of complaint from Governor Bank of Uganda, Professor Tumusima Mutebile, to the airline, Queen Plus Nagel, air cargo plane, complaining, asking them to explain why his chartered plane, Bank of Uganda chartered plane, carried extra items. The airline has also responded in writing, apologizing for putting additional items and making an offer of compensation of up to $25,000 for the injury or embarrassment caused. I have not seen the response of Governor Mutebili, whether this response from the airline is satisfactory. That will be determined perhaps in the due course. Thank you very much. Aris, what I know, there are investigations. So far, we have about eight or six officials. I am not at liberty to mention their names, but I can say they are from three departments of Bank of Uganda procurement, currency department, and legal. And then there have been invitation to or summon to aviation security and customs officials at Entebbe Airport. So those are the departments where investigations are currently focusing. And then uh, how about uh, the names of the people who, whose consignments were on the plane? Are they being I mean, have they been summoned for No, like you, you came late. Like, like came late, I said, for now, our investigation is focusing on the government entity or entities and officials, Bank of Uganda, aviation security, you, police at the airport, and customs, who are supposed to conduct due diligence to ask them how did these other additional cargo find its way on a chartered plane? Once we have established those, then perhaps we can go to the other third parties, namely the aviation industry, the, the, air, the, air, the, air, the airline itself, which should be done by Bank of Uganda. And as I said, I have seen a letter written by the governor, Bank of Uganda asking Kuen plus Nagel, how did these other additional cargo find their way into our chartered freight? And I've said, I've also seen the response. Their response, the response from the airline is an apology and an offer to pay compensation to Bank of Uganda up to the tune of $25,000. And I said, when the Bank of Uganda is satisfied with that for the embarrassment caused, it is up to them. Now, I have also said that from the airway bill and customs record, these other five pilots, after 
Bank of Uganda retrieved its items. These five pilots went through the normal customs checking process. They were verified. They were assessed the tax. In fact, the document I saw indicates that the tax amount, the revenue amount from the tax for each of the items. What is critical is that there are really two. One, so far the investigation is pointing to the fact that these other five pilots did not contain unlawful money dumped into Uganda. Whether it was mislabeling or not is a matter under investigation. The second one is that from that investigation and the documents at the airport, they are not dangerous items. They are not weapons. They are not drugs. For the items that were indicated to be belonging to UN and USAID, the items like solar systems, items to do with blood testing equipment, particularly for USAID, and also Minister of Health, and then for Charles Mbire and Aptec, there were items to do with water pump. I don't know what kind of specialized water pump they are. And also solar systems. And for the UN also, there was something to do with lithium, something to do with the batteries. I think for their equipment that they use here. Now the question would be, why would a reputable organization like the UN find it, find it this way, a good way to bring their items? But that is an answer that they will give the investigators when that time comes. For now, the focus of investigation is on the government entities that were supposed to do due diligence. Okay,